Welcome. Today we're going to show you another quick shortcut for my writing workflow with Google Docs and how I get Google Docs over into Markdown for my work because I get a bunch of stuff in Google Docs. Uh, and this actually you need iPad OS 13 for this, which should be out by the time you watch the video. It comes out officially on Tuesday as I watch, as I record the video, but it should come out so next week and you should be able to do this already. So here we go. And the reason this is accessible from, or this is why we do this with iPad OS 13, is because of the new file menu, or that we can use Safari properly with everything. Um, so I'm going to go to download, file download, and rich text document. It's going to say download, and I'm going to say, of course, I want to download that. And then I'm going to go to files. Still downloading. Okay, so we're done. And so next, we're going to go and I'm going to hold long press and then hit share. And then from there, I'm going to go and I have a convert text, big shortcut. I'm going to show you this in a minute. Out of here, I'm going to pick the Google Docs option. That's it. I'm actually done. So if I go over to OneWriter, which has it already, this is the file. So what you didn't see in here, or you can see here kind of from the thing is that there's an image in there. The image didn't come across and neither did my headings. So I've already done this work earlier actually. So I'm just decided to show it to you. And so I'd go back in and put headings in, but what it does bring across is all the links and all the text. And so that's good. And so reformatting the headings quickly into Markdown is easy. And that's what I do really. So let's look at the shortcut. Where's my shortcut? And so my convert text shortcut has a few options. It has make RTF, which just runs another shortcut that makes something RTF. Um, it is, also has RTF to Markdown, which is another shortcut that makes things Markdown. Uh, has HTML, same my thing. Then there's the Google Docs one, which again is pretty simple. It's going to take, it takes the make march Markdown from rich text one. And in here I put, um, I do that clear. I uh, selected rich task, rich text, and then I selected magic variable. I touch shortcut input. And that's it. And then I save the output from that um, with the documents shortcut to save, right? So let's save file. It took me a while to find this one today. Save file, this one right here. So, and then I save the file and I specify the path that it should be saved in. That's it. That's, that's the whole thing. <laughs> and then from there, I would take the um, file and I would create a proper file header for it. And so this is the name that I want. It's a text file. It's actually marked down and I would run it through my other, my static header one. When I'll go regular and there, I've already done a screencast on this and this is going to give me my static header that I need. Cancel. Oh, there's a bunch of extra junk at the bottom because that's what Google Docs had. And I would just paste my header in. That's great. And then I would also take my heading here again, and I would format it as a static file name. I'm just going to ask you my time. I'll just say right now, 1317. And the date, we'll leave as current date, although I could select if I wanted. And I say done, and it has given me this in my clipboard. And then I would rename the file. Oh, and then I would adjust. So clearly my, that shortcut for me needs a little bit of improvement because it put the brackets in and that would be it. That's my static file header as well. And so this is really ready to drop in to working copy and run just I would get pull, get push. Uh, and then this post would be up on my site. That's it. Another quick one for you. If you have any other shortcuts you want to see, any other stuff around working on the iPad, let me know. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, you can make sure you don't miss any by subscribing below. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notifications if you like notifications. Although I gotta be honest, I hate them. If you'd like to support the channel, like to make sure that the videos keep coming, that the content keeps coming, you can support me on patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Have an awesome day.